right, we're going to start moving these guys through. We're going to keep them. Let's see, where do I want to put them, though? All right, uh, so I'm going to put them on the second floor. That way the AT gun can't see them in the building. Oh, the flamethrower guy's been killed. He's right over there, which is direct line of sight to the AT gun. No chance of recovering that. here. Provide cover. This guy's still freaked out. I don't know what we're going to be able to do with this guy. All we got left is a gunner and a driver. It's going to be interesting to see what I can squeeze out of him now. Let's get the machine guns forward. They're no, doing no good back there. Over here, as far as I can see, we were getting no resistance, so let's go ahead and move these guys up to the wood line here and see what happens. Oh shoot, look at this! We got reserves! And they're reserves because I forgot about them. What shall I do with them? Hmm. I think for now I'm going to move them up to here. Decide what to do with them later. Just move all the guys right up here. From this spot here, they can move around to any of the um, attack vectors I've got going. And these guys are all various HQs. I don't really want to put them in fighting, so I'll just put them nearby over here. Uh, the problem at this range is, um, I really should have used it as prep um, bombardment. The problem is that at this range, the artillery, uh, 16 minutes... At, at this range, uh, the artillery is, by the time I can call it in and it arrives, I'll have already won or lost the firefight. Because at this range, we're gonna, if we see them, we're going to be in a firefight. I don't have anything with target orders, do I? Nope. Okay, good. Oh, look at this. We spotted it. It is a stug. I have an idea, actually. Is that one of the... Yes, it is. Okay, good idea. Last row of buildings. We'll call it in right on this. Not on the stug, because the stug will have moved by the time the thing comes in. We'll call it in all of it on this building. And um, that should help me take that building. Also, I don't want you guys to get killed by the Stugs, so you guys are going to get a target arc. So we're going to have to figure out how we're going to take care of the Stug. That might, that thing might be an issue. Probably best to get an IS to, to uh, deal with it. Maybe when this guy recovers. I don't know. We'll figure it out later. There is an issue, though. I can't put guys right here, because then the Stugs can be able to shoot them. And these guys are toast. They're gonna run away. There's not much I can do about it. Whoa, 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 what's going on over here? There's a lot of Germans. There are a lot of Germans in here. What 
is this? Oh, dear. Oh, okay, it's just a martyr. For a second, I thought that was a West person. I was like, oh, God. Wow, this whole squad is wiped out. There's only two men left. That actually could have gone a lot worse over here. Although, it wasn't actually the guys in the room. Wow, that's pretty, yeah. Um, it wasn't actually the guys in the room that caused all the casualties. It was the stuff out here. Oh, and look, there's a bunch of guys in there. So yeah, in 16 minutes when that bombardment hits, it should be helpful. Oh my, how am I gonna take that tank? I think one way I could do it is go around this way and then close assault it from the side. Or I could just send this guy forward. But I'm worried about Panzer Shreks. What have we got over here? I don't know who he is. Oh, there's a Panzer Shrek. Got a bunch of guys in this building. My two reserve platoons are going to have to be committed pretty soon because the ones that are up front here have been tr pretty chewed up. Let's take a look at the objectives. So I own building A and building B. Uh, there's probably some guys left in here, but I'll definitely get rid of them. Building C is still giving me problems, but it's not too bad. Building D is a main point of resistance right now, and building E I haven't seen yet. That's like not a good spot for you guys to hang out there, just so you know. <laughs> right outside a building. Alright, you guys are in the woods, let's actually just stop you. Give them a face order and let them start shooting at stuff. You know, they're gonna keep sending these guys around the side through the woods here. these assault guns. What's his ammo like? Alright, he's still got some HE rounds. turn. guy shooting at. Oh shoot, he can see them? Uh, that was a miscalculation. guys off the top floor since there's a lot of fire coming from that building from the top floor there. Things are going well over here though. They've got a lot of cover to move around over here.
Okay, yeah, let's get these guys down. Get them down to the top floor, or bottom floor there. Okay, I need to knock out this Stug. It is tying up all the movement on this side of the map. So, it should not be able to penetrate the IS from the front, so we're going to try and knock him out. out this IS, I can move around a lot more. Um, knock out this uh, this stug here. I can, and that means I can also bring up my my tank destroyers to start shooting on stuff. As much as I want to wait for the fire mission, I'm going to have to knock these guys out with some direct HE firepower. they got a lot of automatic weapons, it looks like, and they have a perfect view of this area right here. I can't really move forward with those guys shooting at everything. And that bothersome AT gun, I think I'm just going to try and keep giving it a wide berth. So one thing I'm going to do is move these guys over one so, they, so it stops using them for target practice. close. That was a Panzerfaust. Oh, it just missed him. At point-blank range, too. Right there. Look at that. Just missed. I guess I was horribly wrong about that thing being able to resist 75. Oh, there goes an IS. I think I'm going to retitle this video, How Not to Use an IS. So yeah, I'm pretty chewed up. I've actually got an interesting idea. What if I could run some guys right through the center here? It looks like there's nothing could shoot at them. There's a very brief moment when the AT gun could shoot from right here, but it's a very small window. Nothing else can see them. I could probably run guys right up this. I could run guys right up this and put them in here, and nothing would shoot them from outside. I think I'm going to try it. I'm going to run this platoon, which is a totally fresh platoon. We're going to run them up to here. Right here, they're totally safe. Nothing can, nothing can see this spot right here. So we're going to run them up to here.